Concerns are rising across the state as the number of monkeypox cases increases. Health officials throughout New York are encouraging those at the highest risk to get vaccinated. News 12's Carol Wilkinson joins us now with the latest on the growing health threat. Hi, Carol. Yeah, that's right, Nikita. This is serious, serious stuff that's going on right now. At last check, there were 36 cases of monkeypox in Westchester County alone. Now the pressure is on to get more vaccines delivered to both New York City and New York State in hopes of containing this virus. Monkeypox is growing so quickly that on Thursday, the World Health Organization declared the viral infection a global emergency. Earlier this week, New York state health officials reported more than 1,100 cases statewide, with at least 36 cases diagnosed in Westchester County. It is not usually a fatal disease, although any disease, if it uh, uh, impacts a person with a, a compromised immunity system or other underlying health issues, can become a much more serious disease. Governor Kathy Hochul expressing gratitude to the Biden administration for its help in securing an additional 110,000 monkeypox doses. Approximately 80,000 doses will go to New York City, the remainder to New York State. The governor adding, quote, with more than one quarter of all cases in the U.S., New Yorkers and especially our LGBTQ plus community remain among the hardest hit. We will continue to advocate to the federal government for our fair share of vaccines based on the disease burden impacting New York. Doctors describe monkeypox as a skin condition that's mostly spreading among gay and bisexual men. However, the viral infection can affect anyone. If you're in places where there's a lot of skin-to-skin -skin contact, um, if you're around somebody that uh, has monkeypox, um, if you, I mean, it could be gyms, it could be clubs. Um, so I think anybody that feels they're at risk because they're in situations where they're skin-to-skin -skin contact. Those are the people that should be vaccinated. Meanwhile, throughout the country, due to the ongoing low supply of vaccines, many states are only offering them to those who believe they may have been exposed to the virus. And Carol, we also understand that the virus can spread through other ways in addition to skin-to-skin -skin contact too. Well, Nikita, health officials now saying that the virus can also spread through objects or even fabrics, including towels, clothing, and bedding used by infected individuals.